What's up guys, David Fala here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. On today's tutorial, we're going to be doing a low fade. Not like a super, super low fade, it's gonna be more like a mid to low fade. And that's because that's what we agree with the client. If you wanna make your fade a lot tighter and, and lower, you just have to compress your guides more. And if you wanna make it more spread out, how I'm gonna do it, just follow the steps that we're going to be doing this video. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to create our first guide. This is going to be with the number zero. That means the machine with a lever closed. And we actually gonna create all our guides first, and then we're gonna blend those guides into each other. So this, the first one is going to be, how I said, the bottom line. And how high did you go? Like in my case, I'm following the hairline, and on the back, I'm going a little bit higher just because it, I know it's going to look better on my client. It's going to follow his head the head shape so that's something that I always keep in mind the head shape of the client is extremely important for me I want to tailor that fade to the client's head so now that we remove and create our guides we're going to remove all the hair on the bottom that we don't need we can use your trimmer or you can use in this case how I'm doing it I'm using a detachable with a five zeros now we're going to use our clipper this is going to be with the lever open and we're going to create our second guide how far of a distance you're going to create a about a finger width or kind of half an inch to an inch now we create in our third guide and this is going to be with the number one lever open okay we continue with our guides this is going to be number two lever open and we continue creating the guides first the more space between these guides the higher the fade is going to be the more spread out the fade is going to be if you wanted to make it a little bit less spread out then you're going to compress those guides a little bit so now we're going to start blending all the guides together so we're going to start from the bottom this is going to be with the number zero and then in the half so we're going to blend this by starting with the lever open and then closing the lever little by little you're going to start seeing that guide kind of vanishing or, or being you know like erasing the guide and uh this is the way i always start i always start lever open and i close that lever little by little okay now we continue with the number one and this is going to be lever close and that's going to blend the guide that we did with the one open into the half that we just uh, erase, blend into the zero. So now we're going to close that lever. And if you guys have any little line left, you can always use your half and start with a lever open and start blending those guides together. Okay, now we're using a number two lever open and then closed. And this is going to continue blending those guides together. Remember we did a number two open, now we do lever close, and most likely you are going to need a one and a half, and then you can do the same, one and a half open, and then you start closing that lever little by little until you blend that number two into the one. And at this point, you start seeing the feet kind of coming together, all the guides are being blended to each other, and that's exactly what a fade is. It's a lot easier when you do steps, and you create guides, and then you blend those guides into each other, makes the process a lot easier and avoids you uh, kind of getting lost right now that we're done with the fade we're going to shape it up and why do I say done with the fade I don't mean completely done because sometimes there's little things that you want to fix or detail and but I feel like once you shape up the, the client and you you give them those like not the nice frame it makes it a lot easier for you to see any imperfections so if you see any imperfections well until you're done with the haircut to kind of uh, detail the haircut and make it look even better in this case I'm using my scissors to kind of blend some of the imperfections that I see and that could be not your work only it could be just the client's head the growth pattern the density of the hair there can be so many things that can interfere with you creating that perfect fade that we all see on social media sometimes you know what uh, 
some clients have a perfect canvas some clients don't have a perfect canvas so you have to adjust so that's what i, I did with this client i just kind of use my scissors to kind of point cut some of those corners that i saw and some of those dark uh, areas that i saw to make the fade even better so now with the top i wet the top fully saturated the top with water and then all i did very simple i like to keep it very simple i started from front to back horizontal sections uh, use my fingers as a guide and then make sure that everything was even don't forget to uh, double check or cross check your work to make sure that the hair is exactly the length that you want every time that i cut a client i always blow dry the hair and style in direction that the client is going to style it and the reason is because i want to see how it looks once it's styled once the client is going to be doing it at home how is it going to look like that if there's any adjustments i need to make to the shape of the haircut or anything the clients can see it they can recommend tell me oh you know what cut a little bit shorter and this and that sometimes it's hard for clients to tell you exactly what they want when they're not seeing the final result so this is why i try to show them what the final result is style the hair per product all that stuff so the client can tell me if everything is good or if i need to make any adjustments uh, in this case the client wanted his eyebrows done his beard done so we did all that now we apply a little bit of product uh, just because we want to sleek it back in this case he was in the process of letting the top grow so this is kind of in between type of haircuts and don't forget always forget to clean up the neck sometimes i see people that do some beautiful work with the beard but then the neck is full of hair the back as well so that's it guys that's the haircut for today how you guys can see it looks really really good uh, it's a very classic haircut that I think it looks great. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.